I don't believe. Don't you believe that. what God believe. says? No, not really. You don't believe what God says? Most of the stories in the Bible as well. It's, uh, no, but, it's all made up. But if, Moses uh, split the sea and all that. Yes. It's a bit too much. Eight. My problem is I don't want to look back. I want to look forward. If there are fundamental truths and lessons in history that uncloud those spectacles that you view the present and the future with, then I would assert that it's a very good thing to study the past as well. The Creator, he was 13.7 billion years ago. We, Joseph, we believe in the Quran, Allah addresses this question. Allah says, I have created the jinn, the spirits, and the ints, human beings, for no other reason. Let, let me finish, let me finish, Joseph. For no other reason but to worship me. Right. Now, now you, now you get the, but now I'm, you get the. I, I, know, the, I know the Muslims. Right. I lived with the Bedouin in the desert years ago. What's your, what's your name? Sorry. Joseph. Joseph Abbas. I know about them. You see, so I know. The problem is, certain people, even in government, they want to bad mouth the Muslims. They call it Islamophobia. It's, uh, it's like it's, it's continuous. You know, Drip someone feed. blows himself up over That's there right. in New Zealand. That's right. My, 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 the man in the corner shop is really he's going home early. Yes. He doesn't want anyone to firebomb yes. him in London. Yes. Imagine that. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, Where is it condemning? Next month is your answer. 12 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday. Twice a week he comes on. And maybe he goes he to other people, speak to other places. No, he's got a way of showing the Christians, I am not a, I'm not a fanatic. The ones who come on my program, they're fanatics. Everybody that doesn't agree with him no, a is a fanatic, basically. I mean, he's even become pro-Zionist. Yes. I noticed he, yes. loves, he, loves, he loves the West Bank Jews. Yes. What about, what about the Arabs? Right. Never talks about the Arabs. Yes. He talks about the West Bank Jews in yes. Jerusalem. Yes. You're a Muslim. You still are Muslim. You're yes. still a Muslim. Yes. Why do you, um, you know... He's a stinker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think a person, if they're truly... No, uh, I always a decent try to listen and honest. to him, see how far it gets. Yes. And how he, how, you know, there's a borderline, but he goes over the border. And you're, you're a Jew, right? Yeah. And you can recognize that being a Jew as to how he speaks about Muslims. So I rest my case, basically. No, you see, he has got, he's got, he, we want to hear the true Muslim. There, are, there doesn't seem to be any true Muslim in England. Well, they don't seem to allow, it the when, whenever they, when, whenever they, when, I'm, in, I'm a British Muslim, I'm more British He's than an intelligent dude. He knows how to play the game. And he, he is intelligent. Well, when you get paid for something, you've got to. But once you were in Al Majaroon, which was extremely <laughs> so much, it cost a bit. Some of the you've got to get paid for the extremity. It's not really that he's become less soft, he's just extreme in another way. That's right. I don't think you can really switch out. I think somebody who's extreme yeah, it just goes and takes that extremity in another place and, and position it that way. Now you've gone all the way the other way around. I don't really show you somebody who's. who's uh, so you've got to get your own people way. to show you the truth. Oh, he says he's the true face, true face of Islam, but he's very extreme, extreme himself. He's putting them down every time. I hear it. Maybe some English Christians are happy. Oh, you know what I mean? But uh, he doesn't. He doesn't he says he's a Muslim, but he doesn't really represent the Muslim. Is he really brilliant? No. Well, I, I can't say whether he really is a Muslim or not, but let's put it this way. Some of the explicit comments that he has made, I leave it up to God to judge. I don't want to call him a non-Muslim, yeah, but, but once, uh, once he says, uh, "Prove to me there's a God." Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, well yeah. To me there's no, a no, God. no, not that. <laughs> no, no, no. He specifically said things like, "The Quran says this." Do you think that's right? Now, if a person says that's wrong. You're not a Muslim. No, yeah, but, yeah, but right? he wants to make debate. debate. The people he, come he, he on and they argue with button. him, okay. The but they deliberately put people down all the time. Oh, it's a bit too much for Muslims, it's a bit too much. Christians, you know, they're happy to hear him. Yeah. Maybe that's where he makes his money out exactly. of it. Exactly. I listen to him on Saturday sometimes. I listen to him. But we have, you see, you Muslims, you haven't got the middle of the road. You haven't got a leader in England who can stand up and say things that we they have are. many. Well, but they I, I but they don't but they don't get a chance to speak. I never see them anywhere. Uh, what they like to do 
is they're going like to interview the fringe who have certain views that the majority don't even agree with. And then they propagate those views as somehow uh, representative of the whole. Wow. It's mischievous. Wow. But despite their plans... Who's behind this? <laughs> well, government? look, but the government changes all if the you look at how neocons... Well, neocons is American... Right, uh, no, no, I know, but neocon think tanks... Attack the Iraq and Neocon think tanks and right-wing think tanks. If you think how they think, that will give you quite a uh, informative, uh, you know, opinion about what's you going think on. We have neocons in England. I think we have people with agendas, with money and backing, who push certain things for their own causes. Well, we had, the only one we had was that uh, Robinson. Well, no, right? no. Yeah, that, what's it, DDL or something? EDL. Um, he, he used to come here, then they got kicked out of the park. They were very extreme. Uh, we have, and another we thing have, about Majid Nawaz. <laughs> We have a few, we have a few. So uh, in America, they've got the Sam Harris and here they've got, uh, what's his name? The uh, English guy who writes for the uh, Mail, I think. Um, but what about, what about then the future, our new prime minister? When he calls Muslim women, yeah, uh, all sorts of bad well, things. Exactly, can you imagine if he said that about you? Oh, can you imagine if he if he made fun he of a keeper? Huh? If he made fun, if he made fun, if he made fun of a Jew wearing a kippah, that's it, the end of his political career. Some, some disaster, he'll fall in a hole. He would be gone, one, would, one way or the other. Boris was riding that wave of populism. Right? He knows when to say things. But it's fair game. Yeah, but he said that before he even thought of being... Uh, oh, he's, listen, he wants... Everything he's been done... The last 15 years, this exactly. man wants to be prime minister. Everything, everything he's, he's been wanting since 15, 20 years. If you, like if you want like to be that. prime minister, watch your mouth. <laughs> Why not? He knows where to push the buttons. He was pushing the buttons, he was writing Listen, that popular... When I, I walk along the road, one mile down the road, there's a little community of Bangladeshis, very nice people. And sometimes they walk around, women with their hands covered, face covered. Yeah, I feel a bit queasy, but this is their business. Right. If it's right, a man I see walking on Friday night from the mosque, and I see him walking with two women, all covered in black. Those are his wife. Maybe, maybe the one is his daughter, maybe both of his daughters. We it's don't know. It's possible, but I have a feeling that it's two wives. Maybe. And he goes, sneaks into this beautiful big house, corner house, and uh, I never see him only next Friday. <laughs> You understand what I mean? I'm not jealous of the man. <laughs> hey, you got two wives, let him have two wives, you understand? I think Solomon had lots of wives as well, didn't he? Solomon was smart. <laughs> he married everybody's daughter, he just said she go to war with him. That's it. He married everyone, he had a hundred, how many thousand wives? I think something like that, thousands or something. He married every girl in every province all around him, so she, she lived in peace. That's all. Solomon, yeah. <laughs> you believe in Solomon, I don't know. Actually, Solomon wasn't, um, there was a problem with Solomon. We consider him not to be kosher, you know? Well, we believe in Islam that all of the prophets are a hundred percent kosher in your, in your term. In your term. Because David, he was king, he took his mother, Bathsheba, when she was uh, bathing in the, in the pool, and he took her. We don't believe this. And her husband was in Israel. Isra he was an Israelite captain in the army. He was an Anjou. Uriah the Hittite. He was a Hittite. And, they, and, the, and the, the Israelites captured a lot of areas. And the small groups of nations like Hittites and Jebusites, they didn't kill them off. They killed them but the, the Islamic narrative, Joseph, is that we don't believe that any of the prophets of Allah yeah. who were sent to human beings as an example uh, would do anything that was lewd or, or, or sinful in that nature. They may have slipped and made a mistake. He slipped a number of but, times. But, but nothing, nothing that if you or I, you know, if we can control ourselves uh, from committing things like incest, or, 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 or fornication or adultery. We believe that the prophets of Allah that were sent down were far better and f had stronger faith he was a king to king protect could themselves. He wants, but he couldn't no, marry her not in Islam. While her, husband, while her husband was alive. Yeah, but not in Islam. So he sent him into a heavy battle against the Philistines and he told the general to make sure he doesn't come back. Okay, but in Islam, we don't believe that any of the prophets yeah, would have behaved Islam, in that way. Islam, yeah. Yeah. We believe that they were the best of examples to us. 
And so Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ibrahim, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Yusuf alayhi salam, Jacob. We believe that they were the best of examples. Okay, we believe we believe that. He stole his brother's birthright. Look, can I just ask you one question, Joseph? How can it be that the one who is sent by God is is speaking to God, is guided by God, is inspired by God, and then he does something lewd or crude? What is humor? We all humor. But but I wouldn't do. But 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 but, but if I don't do those things, but Joseph, but but if I but if I don't do those things, you know what I mean. Every man is like that. But Joseph, if I don't do those things, and I'm not a prophet, and I and I would not regard myself as pious. So you are okay. No 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 no. My point to you is, if I can control myself from doing those lewd or crude acts on the basis that I believe in the God in God and that God has told me not to do those things out of the love and the fear of God, how can a prophet of God not have an excessive love or fear of God more than me? Yeah, but you see, we know David what he does. That's a very good question. That's a yes? very good point. We know how can, David. you see, look, my point is a logical one. But we say David's grandmother was a Moabite war princess. And she wasn't Jewish, she wasn't Israelite. That's maybe that's where it came from. But do you understand my point, Joseph? I understand your point, yes. That, that if, if I or you I, or this brother I, here, yeah. would not, God forbid, uh, touch his daughter in that way, yeah. how can we expect the, the one, the best of the creation, the, best. the prophets, the best of creation, the most, the, with Iman, the most yeah, belief but, and connection to God, there's a difference between uh, taking something which was forbidden, like the forbidden fruit in the garden, or... Uh, which was a story that was mistranslated. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, even if you, if you argue that, yeah. there's a big difference between that and God forbid, you know, doing something that's a major sin, haram, such as uh, incest, or such as God forbid, you know, sleeping with one's uh, mother or something like this. This is, a, this is for us, as Muslims, we cannot accept that Allah, Allah says in the Quran. Yeah, but many Muslims are strange. I was in Cairo and I was uh, five days and I was in the Nile Hilton and all around my bar, me and this Canadian, were all Muslims from Arabia, from Arab countries, all dressed in nice jackets and suits and all drinking heavily. <laughs> well, we, we, do, we do not judge. So they, they take their kafia off and yes. everything and they yes. go to the bar. You don't judge the religion by right. people. By people. That's separate. I'm saying, look, uh, the, 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 the reality is even if you wish to judge Islam by drinkers and non-drinkers, you would have to agree that the vast, vast, vast majority of us I, don't drink. I don't. There's a Muslim girl who's here. Sure. She goes in black and she says she told me she's fasting on Ramadan. She's here somewhere. And then I see on her face it's all orange. I said, well, you, you, what's that orange? A powder? What is that? Oh, I had some orange juice today. She actually ate some orange. Because so women... are fasting at all? No, 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 no Joseph. There are... Uh, women do not need to no, fast. Don't touch my hand. No, no, no. The w women do not need to fast when they're menstruating. In Islam... Well, that's an excuse. No, 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 no. It's true. When women are menstruating, they don't fast. Well, I don't know if she's menstruating. Ah, so... so she can eat so, oranges? No, no, no. So listen to what but I'm she saying. She says to me she fasts every day. No, no, no. But, but Joseph, listen to me what I'm saying. Is that... You might see a lady discreetly eating in Ramadan. Right. It doesn't mean that she's not fasting. It means that she's not fasting as a consequence of maybe menstruating. So we don't go and ask her. Oh, I'm not ask her of course, of course, of course. It. It's not very. I, I tried to do this Quran, this uh, Ramadan thing years ago. I did four days and that was it. Oh, you fasted? I fasted four days. Usually but we, in Judaism, there is fasting as well. Only once a week, a year, and that's okay. too much as well. Okay. <laughs> and my doctor said, I met drink water because Joseph, you'll have a coma. Joseph, I, made, I met an English lady. Mm -hmm. She was a teacher and she wasn't even Muslim. And for two Ramadans, she did, yeah. the, she whole did the whole of the fasting. Yeah, well, that's unusual. Because she wanted to uh, feel what, what is it that Muslims do and how they, you know? No, 30 days is a lot. Maybe train yourself year after year, you can do all during the year. Yes. It can, it can be done. Yeah. There's a lot of benefit in it anyway. Muslim My karate there, teacher, years ago, I did a bit of karate. Yeah. He was a North Korean from South Korea. Yeah. He said he could sit on a mat for four days and not move. All I need is a little water. And all everything inside me washes out. Detox. Four yeah. days. Yeah. Detox. Four days. Then I have a little juice. 
I said, four days? He wanted us, he wanted us to do four days. You gave up karate? Uh, <laughs> my brother-in-law was the okay. champion. Oh, okay. He was the champion. Really? He, he was a skinny See, I did this uh, just a few weeks ago. Huh? After Ramadan, I did a two-day water detox. Yeah? Just water. For just four water. Yeah. And like the, so one of them was religious, the other one was health benefit. I smoked cigarettes, I was like, I want to clear up my system. No, you clear like, it's so amazingly doable. Yeah. It's just, just all in your just mind. Water. Just water. And it just flushes like your whole system. Makes you feel amazing. Yeah, that's what he told me. You already do four days like me. I said, you're doing it 20 years. You want us to do it in one day. Oh. You know, we're told, Joseph, that Allah does not want to make uh, the religion or the life difficult for you. And so the fasting, you know, Joseph, uh, once, in, uh, just as Judaism, when you reach puberty, yeah. you're considered to be an adult, and so you have to fast and pray. Yeah. Start, yeah. Start, yeah. So Joseph, most of the people that I know, mm -hmm. since puberty, 13, 14, 15, 16, whatever, Alhamdulillah, they have done every Ramadan. They have fasted all of the months. Well, because they use their parents do it, the mothers. Not do just it, not just because of that, Joseph. And then one boy does it. Everybody wants to. Do it, nobody wants to be left out. Joseph, fasting. Why Allah says He loves fasting so much is that it's one of those deeds that nobody knows. So for example, if I fast and I don't want to fast, I can sneak food outside, I can go outside, I can go and have a burger. Well, that's what I wouldn't right? have, I'd have some water. Oh, water, whatever, whatever, Joseph. No, I tried it for four days. Yeah, but, right, right. but Joseph, the reward for fasting, we're told, Allah says that there is no assigned limit. Yeah, but you believe no, Allah said this, Allah of course, said that. Of course, of course. I don't believe Don't you believe what God believe, says? No, not really. You don't believe what God says? Most of the stories in the Bible as well, it's, uh, no, but, it's all made up. But know, if, Moses uh, split the sea and all that, yes. a bit too much. Okay, you believe that Moses did not split the sea? I don't think, I'm not sure Moses existed. Okay. I think that um, with the Israelites were always in, in the, that land. Yes. Somehow they went to Egypt, were slaves for 400 years, and then a man mysteriously comes along from the house of, uh, uh, of Ramses, and he, he, he takes them out. Can you give me an example? Give me, can you give me an example? Can you give me an example of a man that did not exist, that future generations in their millions, hundreds of millions. Well, in fact, in fact, sorry, no, no, no. Let me correct that. Let me correct that. In the, no, no, hold on, hold on, Joseph. In their billions, speak about. We haven't got his grave. Hold on a second. Let me let me just finish my question. We got nothing. No Is there a man that never existed? and has billions of people that talk about him today. Well, Jesus, I don't believe Jesus existed in, in, the, in the form of the Christians. Oh, my, my, there's a historical okay. Jesus, which had nothing to do with Jesus. But my, my, but my, but my point to you, Joseph, Jesus. is this. It's highly unlikely for a person not to exist and an entire civilization, a scripture, a way of life, a religion, a historical uh, event through eyewitnesses, etc., 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 should all come about, right? Without that, without that person even existing, yeah, yeah. is that possible? Yeah, is that rational? We have only the word of Ezra. Do you believe Aristotle the, existed? The Hebrew Bible. Do you believe Aristotle yes, existed? We, because we have his philosophies. You have his philosophies. Yeah. So you believe that uh, Socrates or one of the other philosophers existed? Well, Hold on a second. On the basis of. Uh, yeah, testimony, te testimony, and their works that they left behind. That's right, but we don't know what the Bible is authentic so, or what. No, no, but that's fine, you can argue that. But my point to you is that there are far more evidence to support the existence of Moses, I would agree, but than there is of Socrates. No or evidence of Moses. In Jordan, they've got the cave of Harun. His brother Aaron, that's supposed to be in there. It's supposed to be in there. But Moses has got a cave. But th that doesn't mean Moses didn't exist. I'm very, I'm very suspicious about Moses. And you know when you say, I don't believe Moses could, you know, split the ocean. That's not usual. But you said okay. he, hasn't, he hasn't got a cave, so yeah. No, no. Yeah, they so, so, uh, his brother Aaron, Aaron, he has a cave, which is there. Why is the cave the... He's buried there. Okay, so if there was a cave and people said, this is the burial of Moses. You would accept it then? Not really. We have, have to go through the bones. We have to go through the bones. Joseph, Joseph, really. I'm a Levite. Uh, 
Levites. You're a Levite. And, the, and Moses and Aaron were of the tribe of Levi. Right. So I've got a sort of DNA, but I'm not so sure. How can I prove my DNA is a Levite? Well, well Joseph, that, what we do rationally is we base our opinions upon balance of probability. We base our opinions on balance of probability. We can deny anything if we want to, but that does, the, the, the denial of something does not validate. See, my problem is I don't want to look back. I want to look forward. That's it. You understand? Joseph. Right, Moses gave us a whole bunch of laws we got to keep. So we, we do the best to keep them. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. Keep the Sabbath, don't, don't kill anybody, don't rob anybody, yeah, all that. But I want to look forward. What if I don't look back for Joseph, Moses, he the sea. Joseph oh, what, 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 what if looking back what if looking back removes the cloud from those spectacles that you view the future with? What's that mean? What that means is, I want to know how we're going if to there are, the future, no if, about Moses. Okay. There if, are if there history, are fundamental though. truths and lessons in history that uncloud those spectacles that you view the present and the future with, then I would assert that it's a very good thing to study the past as well. So you say, because they're part you have I want to know why we are here. Not because of Moses or Allah or Muhammad or Jesus. I want to know why we are here and who put us here, human beings, and what is our purpose in this world. The leaders in the world know why we're here, <laughs> but they don't want to tell us. Who, who, who is best to be able to explain that truth to you? You've got to find out yourself. No, no, no. I'm asking you a question. Who is best at uncovering that truth for you? There is nobody that can uncover the truth. If there is a God, if we are not in contact with anyone. Hold on a second, I'm asking you a question. Contact us. I'm asking you a question. No God. I'm asking I'm asking you a question. If there is a God, if there is a God. You're gonna be famous. Okay, I'm asking you what Joseph. Joseph, you're a famous man. If there is a God, is it rational and reasonable to assume that this creator of everything will be best at telling us and explaining to us why we are here. Yeah, explain nothing. Never explain nothing. No, I'm asking you a, yeah, but, yeah, but I'm asking you to discuss the principle. Not no, no, but I'm, I'm asking you about the principle. I, you won't tell me nothing. I want to know from my own knowledge why we are here and what is our future of mankind. Is your I, knowledge... Mankind's future is very dismal. Is your, knowledge, is your knowledge absolute? Uh, not absolute, but it's very advanced, more than everybody. If God exists, is his knowledge absolute? I don't know about God. I, I'm asking I, you a question. I'm asking you about the principle. I'm asking you about the principle. I'm asking you about the principle. I'm not asking you whether you accept that he does or he doesn't exist. I'm saying if, if God exists. If he exists, what about then? If God exists, would he be best at explaining to us the reality of why we're here? To us. We are like worms. You're running around in circles. We're, we're like worms. You won't answer my question. It's like, it's like telling, telling a worm, uh, do you know Einstein's theory of relativity? Joseph, I'm asking you about a principle. No, no, no principle. If God exists... No, no, I don't answer about God. <laughs> okay. Because in Judaism, the creator is unknown. Joseph, that's not fair. No, it's unknown. It's not fair. Muslims, they talk no, about but Joseph, God and God and God. But Joseph, it's they not... Know God. But, but Joseph... God is unknowable. But Joseph... That, there are beings who are in this world who have been in art today and will be in the future, not gods. They are beings, and they are the ones we interact with. The Creator, he was 13.7 billion years ago. We, Joseph, we believe in the Qur'an, Allah addresses this question. Allah says, I have created the jinn, the spirits, and the ints, human beings, for no other reason... 13.7 billion years ago. Let me finish, let me finish, Joseph. For no other reason but to worship me. Yeah, well, he's a very selfish God. Well, Joseph. I mean, look jo what he's Joseph. Look what he done to, to us. Joseph, Joseph, you have to. Joseph, to jo Egypt. Joseph, you will be my nation. You will do my law. So you do believe in God, then? So do you? So you do believe in God? No, that's our God. Yeah. 
There is only our, one. There's only one God. No, no, the, our God, the one who took us out of Egypt. Well, the, we believe that's the, the same God for everybody. Then, no, no, it's not the same. You don't believe that's the same God for everybody? No, 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 that's our God. And 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 our God is who then? I don't know. Yeah, your creator or something. Joseph. Joseph. No, our God. The one, but there are the one Jews. Front, the one in front of Moses. Joseph. There are Jews the who believe. The one who took us out of Egypt, the parent one from the Bible, is our God. You stole our God. <laughs> Joseph. You stole our God. How like can we steal our land? How can we God. You <laughs> Joseph. Stole our Temple Mount. Joseph. Every, Joseph. You, you Muslims came from nowhere. Jo Maybe we're a big army. You stole everything. Joseph. We want it back. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is this discussion going, Joseph? Yeah, but our God is ours. Don't you understand? So God didn't create me. I don't know who created you, what God you got. <laughs> Our God was speech from us. We only so had. God did not create the world? I don't know about that, that, that God, that's unknowable. Our what about God, your God? How did you define him? Did, your, you did your God he create me? He disappeared. After Moses, he took Moses with him. Did your God create me? No. no. Oh. We don't know, we don't know what so, he created. So who created me we then? We don't know who he is or what he is. We call him Yahweh. Did, did your God create you? He's not. The one who was with us in Egypt, the one who showed himself to, to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, was not the God of creation. Oh, that was a different God. So you believe in more then, than one God? He chose us out of all nations to be his, his special people. How many gods do you Lord. believe in, Joseph? God, how many gods do you believe in? But at least if you if you believe in the one God, which is the, the creator, that's okay. But you can't say that my God is your God. Well, I, uh, clearly not if you believe in more than one. Is it called the but we don't. But I thought Jews had a very fundamental, foundational belief of God being echad, one. Echad, one, yes. Echad, yes. uniquely one, yes. without partners. Yes. So you're and, saying there was and that, a... And that's the one that took us out of Egypt and spoke to Abraham. Okay, so we, we accept he, that. I don't know who he was, the way he, created, he wasn't the creator. We don't know, it's all mixed up. You see, Muslims came along and out of nowhere, and you took a good chunk from us, and you made it this and made it there. Then the Christians had a copy, but it's a bad copy, you understand? Because their God is Jesus. Have you read the Torah? It's, 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 you have to provide some form of evidence. Well, that's what I'm searching for 30 years. I mean, so inshallah, read the Quran. Uh, our, our God is not a Muslim God. Well, for us, Christian God. for us, we believe in one God. The who, creator. Who is the creator of everything. Okay, you want to do that, do that. It's not our God. It, our God, you should it, leave in peace. It, it was nice to talk to you, Joseph. No, you can't, you can't argue with me anymore and I can go. No, I'm just saying that, look, if you believe in more than one God, I can't have a discussion with you on, on no, God being one and absolute. One God. That God is one, is ours. Uh, no, not really. Gonna go viral, I thing. don't want to summarize. <laughs> uh, my granddaughter in America saw me in Hyde Park already.